Welcome to F260 Week 22, Joel Chapters 1 to 3, entitled, It's Later Than You Think. Highlight verse is from Joel 2.15. Sound the trumpet in Zion, call a fast to gather all the people together for a solemn meeting. Explaining this, in the Old Testament, trumpets were used mainly to give signals, such as call to battle, calls to assembly, uh, to break camp, or an alarm given at the approach of danger, which in this case was an exceptionally severe plague of locusts. Applying this, in the New Testament, trumpets are sounded as a prelude to significant events <clears throat> occurring at the time of Christ's second coming, at the end of the age. One of these events is the rapture of the church, when all who have died in Christ will be resurrected from their graves and caught up together with believers who are still at that time, who are still alive at that time, uh, to meet the Lord in the air. Uh, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. That's from 1 Thessalonians 4.16. Upon awakening one morning, I was aware of something I heard in my sleep that was so startling it woke me up. The very clear, resonating sound of a trumpet. An inner voice said to me, what you have just heard is my angel sounding his trumpet, warning you to beware and to, to tell others to beware. For my son is coming soon, and it's later than you think. An ominous warning indeed. Seven years of tribulation are prophesied <clears throat> to occur at the Lord's second coming. Will the rapture occur before this tribulation, during the middle of it, or at the end of it? Some say the Lord's coming is a two-phase event. There will be a first phase where the Lord does not descend fully to the earth, but hovers above as the caught-up saints rise to meet him in the air, um, either before the tribulation starts or sometime during it. Ergo, pre-trib, pre -trib, mid-trib, uh, uh, either of those two. The second phase is when he descends to earth to defeat the Antichrist. But those who promote a post-tribulation rapture maintain there was only one phase, the Lord's second coming and the rapture, both occurring together at the end of the tribulation. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Luke 21, 36. <clears throat> for, for those of us who are still alive when the Lord returns, there are only two ways by which we will escape all the terrible things that will be happening on earth during the tribulation period. Either we will escape by being raptured out of it or by divine protection going through it, but escape nevertheless. My response, the important thing is not how we escape them, but if we escape them. Hence, the importance of praying always to be worthy of escaping them so that we will not have to be ashamed in the Lord's presence at his coming. Amen. God bless.